What's going on, guys? It's Mr. DEBT, Joe Locke from the Money Etiquette Group, here to talk about the follow-up to the calls for a boycott on Gucci about six to seven months ago by rappers T.I. and Spike Lee, amongst other celebrities. I believe Soldier Boy, a couple other people uh, were calling for boycotts of Gucci. And also just to look at uh, how effective that was, if it did show in the numbers that there was a boycott at all, did Gucci respond in a positive way? And of course, we know this is all about a black face sweater um, that was released um, back in uh, January, February, it may have been December of last year, but I believe it was January or February of 2019. Now, uh, of course, it blew up originally on Twitter. Some of the feedback on Twitter uh, was ridiculing this sweater, saying that, you know, it looks like black face. This is an obvious attempt to make fun of black people or flint or offend black people in the history of slavery and second class citizenship in the country and this caused a lot of outcry uh, we know that gucci has had a lot of history in terms of offending groups of people with their clothing lines i believe maybe a few months ago it was the sikhs with the head wrap uh, that were offended and uh, it was just a lot of controversy i think native americans at one point was offended by gucci and some things they printed on some shirts but um just looking at this call for a boycott, I always like to see if it was effective, um, if people followed through with it, if the message was received by Gucci or even the uh, parent company of Gucci Caring. Uh, and right now, if you, if you look at and review the second quarter numbers that was released in July, third quarter is due in October, about a month from now, and I wanna make sure you check that out too. But if we look at the difference between the first quarter revenue sales from Gucci and the second quarter, you do see a dip. Uh, when in the previous year, it was an increase uh, first quarter over second quarter, we did see a dip. Uh, we did see that there were several uh, reports out there from Yahoo Finance and different uh, news organizations that spoke about how Gucci saw the sales kind of flatten or at least they didn't see the growth that they were expecting to uh, see. They did say that the industry in itself, when it comes to luxury brands, had a slowdown. But what's funny is when you look at these reports about uh, some of the numbers kind of retracting, a lot of people give reasons based on, of course, the information that was released through Gucci. Well, not through Gucci, but through Caring and their annual report, or I'm sorry, their quarterly report. Everything was spoken about except for a boycott. You heard that um, Chinese uh, tourism was uh, lower in the United States, which caused somewhat of a you know lackluster or a drop in sales in the U.S. Um, however, if you don't already know, when it comes to who's the highest or the largest consumer base, uh, when it comes to Gucci, it is China and Chinese uh, citizens. So keep that in mind before you know you think that it's. Uh, a way or a possibility to be effective and to slow down Gucci with just a segment of the population of the United States if you're talking about minorities or black people. Uh, but nevertheless, getting back to the numbers, uh, they did see a dip in terms of their rate increases and in their growth from uh, Q1 to Q2. And again, the reasons, I mean, really, when you look at the reasons, that's where I think uh, we can find a lot of information in terms of how did Gucci and how did Karen respond? Because when I looked at their reports and what they put out there, again, the reasoning behind the slowdown, they put it towards uh, just the overall market in the US slowing down um, when it comes to luxury brands. Uh, they were growing so fast that actually they should be looking to plateau and they think they've reached a plateau. Again, they spoke about Chinese tourism. I heard everything in that report, but never an acknowledgement of the black dollar. If that if that uh, boycott took place. I mean, again, celebrities talked about it, a lot of people talked about it, but it was not even mentioned in their second quarter reporting. Now, the third quarter reporting, I believe, is gonna be due towards late October, and I think it's important to pay attention to see what happens. Are we gonna see another quarter where you see a decrease in revenue, or at least a deceleration in growth? Or will it be a quarter that is a bounce back quarter? Because we do know that um, I believe uh, Gucci released a lip liner or a lipstick that sold 1 million uh, units in like a few days or less than a month or something like that. So we do know that they have other lines and other products that have sold for this quarter that may boost the numbers. But I would like to see if U.S. sales uh, is still lagging or if it's increasing. 
And I think it's important when you call for a boycott, when people say they're going to boycott things, that you look at the numbers afterwards to see if it was effective. Not so much to say, uh, did it stop Gucci? Did it stop uh, caring? We know that caring is not going to be stopped. They own several luxury houses and certainly they uh, make billions every quarter. So we're not saying that they're significant, they're going to see significant drops, so they're going to be stopped. But did they get the message? We did hear from Dapper Dan. He went on a kind of a social media, you know, a media run where he went to the Breakfast Club and different places and did interviews speaking about how he was disappointed and how the relationship uh, between himself and the head designer is strengthened because he knows that he needs to be consulted more often. We saw all of that. We saw T.I. talk about it. We saw Spike Lee talk about it. We saw thousands of people speak on it on social media. So much was said. There was so much controversy, so much conversation about Gucci. But what were the results? Gucci still hasn't acknowledged you and their reporting in terms of the power of your dollars if you chose to boycott. Does that mean that not enough people boycotted? Or does it mean that when it comes to Gucci and honestly caring that the majority of their consumers are not even United States citizens, they're Chinese citizens. Was it effective? Wasn't it? I can't say for sure, but those are numbers you should think about and you should be paying attention to the third quarter numbers because we can't just talk about these things and just let them go by the wayside. I'm sure a lot of people have already forgotten about the uh, controversy over the sweater, about all the uproar you know, in media about Gucci. But I haven't because I always like to look at markets. I study things like this just to see what happened. And I want to know what you guys think six months to seven months later. Do you feel have the same, have this, do you still have the same energy for Gucci if you were boycotting? Do you even purchase Gucci in the first place? Because obviously it's overstated how many black people really buy Gucci. I'm not talking about secondhand purchases. I'm not talking about eBay or going on some online market and purchasing. I'm speaking about purchasing first person through Gucci. Obviously, we're not a big part of their profit margins and their revenue margins. However, we are a part. So, do you have that same energy? Do you feel the same way? Have you forgotten? Do you feel like uh, boycotting big organizations and companies like this is ineffective versus the boycotts of the past in the 50s and 60s where you had it more localized because you were boycotting where you dominated the market. For example, with public transportation, if the majority of black people take uh, public transportation in a certain area, then if they boycott, they severely hinder that market. Now they may not uh, hinder bus travel or may not have hindered bus travel throughout the United States, um, but in those local areas, they did well. So how do you boycott global companies like this? How do you effectively make these companies respond positively to what you feel uh, when you feel like you were done wrong or you feel like your dollars are not being appreciated. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Just throwing this out there. Again, I want to see your thoughts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do a lot of videos on uh, investing, about uh, just doing better financially, reaching your financial goals and achieving financial freedom. Uh, a plethora of topics, but we do sometimes touch on these things because it matters. I like to see what's going on. We got to look at the numbers and the dollars, the dollars and the cents, just to see if things are effective or not. And we want to know if that was the intent to actually be effective or just make a statement. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think. And uh, make sure, again, you like, share, and talk about it. Let's see what happens.